If you spent any amount of time with Monster Hunter Rise's expansion Sunbreak, you may have come across a monster known as the Espinas. Espinas for me is such an exciting monster to finally make it to the mainline series. For years, fans have been wanting monsters exclusive to Frontier make it over to the mainline games. Now, I have seen criticisms of Espinas. They mostly boil down to Espinas being Raytheon with extra steps. Although I do see that criticism as valid in a sense, I think Espinas brings enough to the table to differentiate himself from Raytheon. Especially with the fireball attack that can put paralysis, fire, and poison on the hunter at the same time. I just love the fact that a monster can do that to you, like just keep you on the ground in paralysis while you're on fire and poisoned. It's amazing. With that said, I think the criticisms of base Espinas are addressed in his subspecies Flaming Espinas. Flaming Espinas is a stronger, bulkier version of Espinas. It still has the same running and charge attacks that base Espinas has with the fireballs, but these fireballs are bigger and do way more damage than base Espinas. Flaming Espinas retains the poison and fire ability while losing the ability to inflict paralysis on the hunter. At first, this may seem like a debuff, but when you see the damage this guy does, it's more of a balance than a debuff. Flaming Espinas has these AoE attacks that does so much damage, you better hope you have enough time to heal before the flames and poison kill you like it's insane we can actually see one of his charge attacks being done in the trailer and this is most definitely his big aoe fireball attack that he's most famous for we can also see that he's being fought in the forlorn arena i think flaming espinas works best in an arena where you have little room to escape from his big aoe damage not to mention the flaming fireballs that he can make rain from the sky in frontier high rank espinas is fought in a arena type setting while g rank espinas is fought in a semi arena but also a wild setting so i think in rise we'll have both but again i think flaming espinas just flourishes in an arena setting giving the hunter less room to you know evacuate when on fire while comparing g rank espinas versus the fight with flaming g rank espinas in frontier we can see that flaming espinas focuses more so on brute strength and power than fighting the hunter with ailments. You see, with base Espinas, you're more worried about the being poisoned and on fire thing, while flaming Espinas, you just don't wanna get hit. For example, this item right here is called a Hawk Pot. What it does is reduces damage taken by 70%. Even with damage dealt to me being reduced by 70%, the AoE fireball is still doing so much damage. Not to mention I'm on the outside radius of the attack. Also, I'm pretty sure the Fireball AoE has multiple hitboxes, so doing something like a wire bug counter during the AoE attack I think might actually punish the Hunter. I don't know how it's going to work in Rise, but I'm crossing my fingers for that one because if we can just counter out of the big AoE blast, it like basically neuters the, you know, the whole thing that Flaming Espinas is known for. So the Flaming Espinas actually has two different charge attacks. The first, the AoE fireball that we've been talking about. And the second is this charged up tackle attack that flings the hunter in the air, after which is followed up by a fireball. Now, the problem I have with this attack coming to Rise is that in older games, you didn't really have a way to get out of this, but in Rise, you can wire bug recovery out of the air. So my problem is that they may make this attack trivial if you can just wire bug out of the attack. I think making an instant wire bug recovery out of this attack, you know, punishable is probably the best way to go about it and honestly the charge up to the tackle attack is so long if you get hit by it it's totally your fault what's also cool about the tackle that's followed up by the fireball attack is that those fireballs come raining back down on other hunters around the espinas so it's actually a really good spread move with really great tracking in g rank so like thinking about it further maybe wire bug recovering out of the initial tackle leaves you open to being hit from one of the fireballs raining from the sky Possibly that might be a good way to balance the wire bug recovery tackle attack, you know, problem I see that may happen. But overall, I think Monster Hunter team is doing a great job with these monsters. And I really hope Flaming Espinas lives up to the hype and expectations that I have personally. And I really think it's possible that Flaming Espinas will exceed the expectations and hype that I have for it coming to Monster Hunter Rise. With all that said, that's everything that I have to say on what we might expect from Flaming Espinas coming to Rise. If you have anything to add, please add it in the comments. I read all my comments. I love to see what people have to say. 
especially talking about Frontier and Monster Hunter Rise. I, I just love the conversations. Also, make sure to like and sub if you want to see more stuff like this. I do a bunch of different types of Monster Hunter videos or whatever, so if that seems interesting to you, you know, stick around. And that's everything I have to say, so, you know, stay safe out there. Hope everyone's doing well. See you in the next video. Goodbye.